Yo, how's it guys? So in today's video, I will be doing a review on this ski prong. So in this video, I will be including the introduction of the ski prong and then go over the specs, going over my likes and preferences. And then at the end, I will add a bunch of action clips. And with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is my ski prong. Now note, it's not brand spanking new. I did get this in sometime in June or July and I have used this a bunch. So you'll notice the tip is used. It is a little bit rusted and there's a lot of scratches on the ski prong. So the base model, the ski prong is basically an all carbon half and half, seven and a half foot pole spear. When I was messaging Ski, I believe he said he wanted the brand name to be Provide Spears because that's what he wants his product to do, be able to provide food for the family. So as far as the tip, it is made of spring steel, not regular steel, and basically the thought process behind that is spring steel is stronger than the regular steel and won't bend as easily. But it does rust. As most of us know, a lot of us here in Hawaii likes our tips to rust so that it can hold the onto the three prong a little bit longer so that it doesn't escape. Now note, the tip does not come off. It stays there forever. You cannot unscrew or screw it on. The front portion of the ski prong is a thinner diameter carbon compared to the back. It adds strength at the end with the thicker diameter, but also adds a lot of speed with the lightness and the narrower thickness in the front. And finally, we have the shrink grips, which he has of various different colors. I can't remember at the top of my head, but I got the black, of course, but I think he has a yellow. I might have to order another ski prong with yellow. The total weight of this seven and a half foot ski prong is only 12.3 ounces. So it is very, very light. As far as retail, all the models up to eight feet are $175 and then anything above that would be $200. Now, my likes about this three prong. If you saw my older videos, I have been using Kawabanga three prongs for quite some time. And basically this, the ski prong, I feel like is an upgraded version of the Kawabanga three prong. It's like I took a Kawabanga three prong and put it in a pack a punch machine and then got the ski prong. That's it. It all around just feels like a higher end version of the Kawabanga. Like when I was unwrapping this or taking it out of the box, whatever you want to call it, I was pretty freaking stoked. Um, I was excited as I was unboxing it. And then when I got it, it was like, like, look at this, it's, it's so light. So yeah, I was very happy. I feel like it's lighter than a graphite, which before the Kawabanga, that's, that was my go-to, a graphite. It was so light. It was like nothing at the time. It was, felt like nothing could top a graphite. Then they came out with Kawabanga, the half and half. And I was like, oh man, this, this is packing some fire. And then they came out with the ski prong. Holy shit. Look at that. It's just balancing on the tip. Uh, or well, on my finger basically, but it's so freaking light. Now you see in some of the clips at the ending of the video, but I feel like with the speed and power of this ski prong, like I can fully utilize the length of the ski prong. I swear, I, I've purposely, you know, a little bit farther shots the length of ski prong to see if it would hit, not only hit, but if I could successfully catch a cole or whatever. And to my surprise, like I think there is a king cole. I hope I got footage of this. There is a king cole that I shot. It was almost the length of the ski prong away from me. The ski prong just plows right to the freaking king cole like a 12 gauge or something. Basically the skin cole was right on the shaft. I was tripping balls. Now, as far as my overall personal thoughts of the ski prong, I have no complaints whatsoever. I will be using this for years to come. I haven't tried all the pole spears here in Hawaii. This has got to be one of the top. I cannot say it's the absolute top, because I haven't tried every single one of them yet. The one out of all the ones I've tried so far, this is the best. If I could change one thing, again, it's not a flaw. Uh, it's just a preference. It's just me being picky because I do have an Evolve three prong that I bought before the trip. And we all know Evolves are pretty pricey. Having the Evolve and 
the stainless steel knurled tips that won't rust. I do hope that the future models will have a stainless steel knurled tip. It doesn't have to be the exact same one Evolve had. I will say the tip, that stainless steel knurled tip is pretty heavy. I do hope he finds a way to get some kind of stainless steel option. Because me personally, I, I, I don't like rust. That's my personal preference. I'm not saying I hate the ski prong. I lo absolutely love it. If I had a preference, I would like to see a stainless steel knurled tip. It doesn't have to be able to come off. Being a fixed tip, I don't mind at all. But again, I'm just, that's just my preference. And it doesn't take away from the value of this three prong. Now, as far as Kole and Minpachi, I'll probably buy an, another ski prong um, in a six foot model because I do like to be able to get multiple Kole or Minpachi on a single dive so that just to save going up and down. I feel like the seven and a half feet model is better for a little bit larger fish. So I feel like the seven and a half foot model definitely is better for like medium sized reef fish. Like I said, this is by far my favorite three prong I've ever used. When I unboxed this, I was like, damn, this is the prettiest three prong, but deadliest feeling three prong I have ever felt. I don't know about all of you guys, but whenever I get new gear, I remember when I first got my first beer gun, which was the Spora Sub Aspect, I thought, like oh shit I just leveled up and then getting this a ski prong it's like I feel like I got a cheat code it's so fun I cannot sum up the words how fun and awesome this product is I definitely will be using this for the years to come and yeah I will be holding on to it like I hope to pass this on to my son that's how long I hope to hold on to this and ski has also mentioned that he has like some other models in the works and that was back in June. So I can't wait. I have a trip planned for next year. I'm hoping to being able to bring my ski prong with me. I honestly could just rant forever. I really just love this product. So I just wanted to shout out Ski. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to use your product, your you know, your creation, the ski prong. Yeah, just thank you for giving me that opportunity. I don't think any words I can come up with at the moment would do justice how grateful I, I am. I hope this video did it justice. I did want to get more footage, better footage of me shooting like bigger fish. I did want better footage, but currently I'm not able to dive. But I really wanted to get this video out there. I just think this product is that awesome anyway guys so enjoy the clips i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did leave a comment on your thoughts of the ski prong until the next video shoots Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 